Hello. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a great holiday. So, I'm up. I had a great holiday, got some great gifts, spent some family time. So I'm here tonight and um, I wanted to make some videos. I got a lot of things that's going on in my head, a lot of messages that's going on in my head. So it's a lot of things that's going on with the uh, Twin Flame Energies, the Divine Masculine mostly, and the Divine Feminine making choices, uh, using her wisdom, have learning lessons, okay? But it's a lot of negative karmic energy that black men Magic is back around since a lot of the divine masculines are trying to leave uh, the karmics they're back to the black magic and divine films the black magic is towards you as well if you're trying to start a business if you're um, having financial issues and stuff like that they're trying to drain your money and as well as any love or anything positive that's coming your way is back around again due to the divine masculines trying to make a choice to leave a situation Okay, the other energy I'm feeling is Usher. These are my confessions. I've been um, hearing this song in my head all week. Um, maybe like the Divine Masculines really want to kind of confess that maybe they have a pregnancy. Somebody's pregnant. Okay, the next one is um, I feel like somebody might lose their job. All right, it might be a job loss this week. Okay, and I feel um, it's a lot of envy going on. The karmic situation is building. I miss a lot of spying going on, a lot of copycat energy, um, just a lot of re revengeful energy. Um, really trying to put um, a higher level of black magic to make you basically walk away from the situation for good. Okay? And um, it's a lot of money issues going on. It's like the divine masculine could be trying to make a decision of love versus money. He could have a karmic that's basically willing to do anything financially, anything to keep him. And it could be um, through codependency, financial support. All right. And the other energy I'm getting is that some of these divine masculines have caught a disease or the karmic have caught a disease and they're hiding the evidence and not telling um, people that they have a disease. Okay. They could possibly still be having sex. Um, not telling someone that they have a sexually transmitted disease. All right. So the energies that I meditated on and the words that I meditated on dealing with um, the twin flame energies and the divine masculine is wounded. And this is, um, you know, wounded, just feeling hurt, depressed. Uh, that's with the twin flame, the number 22. Somebody's sleeping a lot in hermit mode, depressed. And it's a lack of communication. And there's an ending coming. Okay. So those are the energies that I've been meditating on all week. All right. So this this um, video that I want to um, work on is the overall energies. All right. So I want to get into the overall energies of what's going on with the Twin Flame Collective. It's just a lot of ugliness I feel. All right. Of course, I'm starting off with my Divine Fam. All right, Divine Fam, it's like all of this has really triggered you. The holiday season, have you gotten treated? Um, the neglect, the abandonment, just feeling unloved, you know, just how this has hurt you. All right, you could have seen some fake ass Christmas pictures posted by Kermit. All right, anything could have had triggered you towards this holiday season in regards to this twin flame journey and your divine masculine. You feel very triggered. You could be crying. You could be upset. You could be hurt. You could be the depressed one that's in the bed. You know, okay? I see someone in the bed. All right, just trigger energy for our divine feminine Holy Spirit. Please let me know how she's feeling. All right, so you're focusing on your self-love, Divine Fem. You're focusing on who you are. You're basically at home, minding your fucking business and doing you. Okay? You're just trying to work on yourself. You're actually contemplating some of your New Year's resolutions, and you know that this is some shit that you're not carrying in 2020. Being triggered, being upset, feeling abandoned, alone, 
All right. And you know you're the empress. You want a new beginning. You're finding your self-love. Okay. Some of you divine films could be pregnant. Okay. But you're also looking for a new beginning. And you're working on yourself. You could have got triggered because you found out about a pregnancy as well. All right. But this is divine film. You could have a secret admirer. You could be out actually um, having a good time. Some of you could be um, having a new beginning. All right. And you could have a secret admirer. You could have met someone new. Someone could have revealed themselves to you. All right. You could have went out on a date. Okay. You could have had a good time with somebody new that you met. You guys could have even went to like a, a, a carnival, a festival, like some holiday lights. You could have went out on a date. Okay. What else is going on with the divine fam? And you're leaving a situation. You walked away, divine feminine. You left a situation that's not servicing you. You have contemplated on this. And a lot of you divine films are utilizing your free will. And you're walking away from this twin flame journey. You're leaving this situation. You feel like it's toxic. It's unhealthy. You don't want to keep dealing with bitches that's insecure. That's putting black magic on you. Just to try to hold someone that don't even want their ass. Okay. And... And you're leaving because you're tired of waiting on communication from someone who basically just don't act like they give a fuck. All right. You will be also communicating this to your divine masculine that you're leaving this situation, that you're done. All right. You're tired of hoping on communication. You're tired of waiting on this situation. You know, a lot of you divine films, you're adults here. Okay. You're adult minded. You feel like this shit is premature. You feel like this is immature. Just somebody, you know, keep playing mind games, mind fuckery, can't make decisions. All right. This shit is done. You're tired of it. You're tired of waiting on communication. And like I said, many of you will be communicating, leaving this situation to your divine masculine. Go ahead. Okay. And you choose to be in solitude. All right. And you're tired of your divine masculine is always being in solitude, always disappearing, always can't communicate, you know, always doing what they want to do while you're just waiting around. All right. So you no longer choose to live this life. You will be communicating or leaving, you know, a breakup here. All right. And you're ready to move forward with your life. You could have met someone else that's more exciting. You're going to be communicating this. This is going to put maybe your divine masculine in the solitude in depression state that you no longer want this. Right? That you no longer want this. All right? You want something new. You have a new perspective on life. A lot of you divine films have healed. You're tired of being spied on instead of somebody spying on you, putting that energy into checking you out in the fucking background. They could be putting that energy into your fucking relationship instead of bullshitting around, watching you in the background, seeing what the fuck you going on. What's going on and stuff, you know, that's just stupid, you know, and now you're in solitude and you rather look at somebody from the background instead of work on the 3D and the physical. That's just stupid. You know, so the divine fam is like moving forward with her line and she's going to be communicating this because if in 2020 and all the years and the time that you have spent waiting on the divine masculine to make choices, having patience, he's coming, he's not playing around with black magic and all this stuff like this. You're ready to move forward with your life. You don't want to keep bringing this into year after year after year. You're ready to move forward. You have a new perspective on life. So Divine Masculine, despite from the background, as the Divine Feminine move forward in her life in 2020. All right. So that's what you got going on, Divine Film, because you're tired of someone who is too secretive, someone who can't express how they feel, someone who can't tell you what's going on 
or give you any type of clarity. This is not what you're looking for in 2020. I just hear 2020 shit that you're not taking into 2020. So that's why you guys could also be seeing 1010 because you're ending some shit. Okay? It's a lot of endings that's about to take place. So let's see where the Divine Masculine's energy is at this current time. All right? He's full of secrets. Okay? He's full of secrets. But however, he wants to give you a gift. Okay? Maybe he bought you a gift for Christmas that he did not give you. Maybe you guys did not see him. All right? He did maybe buy you something for some. Okay. The divine masculine wants you to trust him. Okay. His energy is looking for trust from you. Okay. And there's someone here that's still in the background that's going on with the divine masculine. It could be a karmic energy. He could be like trying to maybe end something in this situation. And that's maybe why he's keeping you a secret. There's major trust issues with your divine masculine. You feel like you can't trust him at all because of the secrets that he keep in regards to possibly a third party or someone else that's in the background. Okay. And your divine masculine wants you to know that he's attracted to you. All right. He wants you to trust him and he wants you to know that he's attracted to you and he wants the celebration. All right. If you look at this, she could possibly be looking like maybe this was a, a, a marital type of ce celebration here. All right. He wants you to know that if you were expecting a proposal, that maybe it's still to come. You know, if you're expecting some type of commitment, that there's still movement and purpose towards that, even though there's being things held up in the background due to karmic energies. You could be feeling a lot of weakness, a lot of depression, a lot of laziness. Yeah, it's movement. There was a breakup. Just like I said, there's an ending here somewhere. Okay? There's an ending. He wants you to know that he did possibly break up with a karmic for the holiday. We're going to clarify certain cards in his energy. What's going on with this breakup, Holy Spirit? Here's two cards that flipped opposite and one jumped out there. With this breakup, he wants redemption from you. He possibly broke up with somebody or either you guys could have broke up. Okay? But he wants redemption here. He wants redemption. He wants forgiveness. He wants you to forgive him for basically how he treated you. He's constantly thinking about you during this holiday season. Okay, the next card that's here is he wants to take you on this retreat. Okay, and also the energy that the karmics are watching the videos and that's how they're preparing their black magic because they feel like they know what's coming and the, and the tarot readings are giving them the energy that they need to know what's going on with the divine masculine. So. Um, back to that, I just had that channel energy, like somebody's watching this to find out what the next steps are, what the next clues is, you know, what they up to, what's happening here. And it's like, that's how they find out how to make their little potions and shit. But anyway, this is the retreat card. Okay. And the divine masculine want to take the divine film on a retreat, possibly discuss these things, you know, possibly a proposal. Okay. And, um, this is what they want to do. You know, we've been getting that same energy. So this card right here is laying there. And just like I just felt when I just said somebody's watching this to know what, um, you know, the, the energies are. And boom, here this card right here comes out. It's jealousy. Okay? It's a lot of jealousy. You know? So... You just got to be careful and watch your back and everything. If you're like trying to get on a good page, your divine masculine came back and you know, you guys are planning a trip or something like that. Just watch your back. It's a lot of jealousy and envy and, you know, plotting going on here behind the scenes. Okay. Somebody is jealous of this connection and I just felt it real heavily. And the next card I get out is jealousy. Okay. All right. So 
the, you know, there could be some information that come up unexpectedly. I feel like this is the energy that you might find out that your divine masculine has a child, has a son, maybe that you did not know about. We keep getting this energy. Whatever this information and also that you might find out is unexpectedly to you that if he do pop the question, okay, this is my, you might have a heart to heart conversation where he want to tell you something. Okay. Any more energies from our divine masculine Holy Spirit? What else is it that he could be feeling that he wants to express the energies of our divine masculine? Wow, just like I said, he want to give you clarity. He want to give you truth. He want to let you know what's going on here. Okay, when you guys go on this journey, he possibly want to let you know about a breakup. He wants some forgiveness. He wants you to trust him. Okay, but also, he possibly wants you to know it's a lot of jealousy going on. And he also not going to tell you that he's been spying on you and checking you out. Okay, so what I want to do, I just want to find out, okay, what is going on with the Divine Masculine personally? What is going on with the Divine Masculine personally? What is going on with him personally? What is going on in his everyday life, Holy Spirit? What do we need to know? This. I knew it was some different energy. I'm feeling this energy in this reading right here. This is what's going on with the Divine Masculine. This could be a karmic partner that your divine masculine is having a hard time releasing. Okay? As you see here, they're still holding hands. Okay? This could be a karmic partner that he's having a hard time releasing. Okay? Wow. What's going on with the divine masculine? Okay? He is trying to maybe have something going on with this, holding on to this, trust that it can work out while he's still thinking about you in the fucking background. Okay? He thinking about you. So it's like, are you trying to work out two situations, Divine Masculine? Okay? He's still trying to, it's somebody on each end that's in the background, in his head. Okay? What is the overall energy for the Divine Masculine Holy Spirit? What's the overall energy? So we know where he at for Christmas with a karmic partner. Okay? So, the energy I'm getting is the divine masculine know he broke the trust with you and hurt you with this karmic partner. He broke your fucking heart, divine fam. He regret breaking the trust with you and leaving you in the background while he hooked up with his karmic partner for the holidays. And now he wants to apologize. Fuck you. That's what you should say. He want to apologize and also fuck you. Okay? Some of you divine films were very hurt about how he treated you for the holiday season. You're very hurt. Alright? Your divine masculine wants to come in and give you clarity about how you're feeling. What's going on? He know he hurt you. You guys blocked him. You walked away from a situation. You guys know, and the Divine Masculine know that you're his life partner. He want to grow old with you. The overall energy. Okay? And he want to make you this promise that that is what he want to do. Be with you. Make a promise to you. Grow old to you. Apologize to you. He abandoned you over and over again. And now he wants to come and apologize. Alrighty. Because what? He know he left you waiting. He left you waiting. He hurt you while he built with a fucking karmic partner. For the holidays and consistently while he left your waiting. Just waiting. Making you promises. Now he wants some forgiveness. So you divine films decide if you want the same circle of bullshit in your life in 2020. 
Decide that, okay? Decide that. The same karmic partner bullshit. Somebody who keep running back and forth. Somebody who always come in and apologize. Somebody who feel like you're in the worst goddamn relationship in your life, okay? Somebody who put you in that position to make you feel like this is the worst fucking relationship in your life. Who is it? Your goddamn twin flame. Okay? Your damn twin flame. Alright? Who have did you the worst that any other person has possibly did you in a relationship. So Divine Film, please decide if this is the energy that you want to bring in 2020. Karmic bullshit, black magic bullshit, his continuous forgiveness, his broken promises, a continuously cycle of bullshit. I understand everyone needs forgiveness, but when this has been a continuous cycle, you have to really decide if this is something that you want to continue to bring in new year after year after year. Okay? So at some point, the divine wants you to learn your lessons and utilize your free will if you have to. Okay? So let's go into further energy of what's going on. Okay? Let's go and see what's going on. Look at this. Okay? This is caution. Caution with this divine relationship at this time. Alright? So let me shuffle, they said. Somebody see you as a gem. Alright? They done picked up so many other rocks and stones and bullshit. Now somebody see you as a gem after they fucking betrayed your ass over and over and over again. Now somebody see you as a fucking gem. Okay? The next card out after they fucking manipulated you and played you like shit. Now somebody see you as a fucking gem. Possibly after they got fucking played too. Okay? Uh-oh, I feel some hardcore energy coming on with the Queen of Wands. Woo! Oh, shit. All right? So somebody doing some fucking drugs here. Somebody getting high. All right? Somebody smoking, taking pills, drinking their ass off, doing some cane. Okay? Somebody expecting a fucking baby. I keep telling you guys this. Somebody expecting a fucking baby. And this is probably some shit that they want to confess to you. The next energy out, somebody been keeping you a secret, okay? You tired of being kept a secret, okay? You deserve more than this. You finding your self-love. You learn how to value yourself, okay? You're not going into 2020 being a goddamn secret, divine feminine, okay? You tired of these fake-ass apologies, these fake-ass bullshit-ass behaviors that's coming from your divine masculine. You sick of this shit. You sick of him wearing a goddamn mask, coming in and out of your life with just bullshit, okay? Keep your fake ass apologies to yourself, divine masculine. Until you learn how to grow up and be a real motherfucker, keep your fake ass bullshit to yourself, okay? Because divine film, you're on chill mode, okay? You chilling. You just having your blunts, you having your cigarettes, you on chill mode, okay? Because you still wondering how you met such a deceptive motherfucker, such a deceitful motherfucker. You still wondering how and what and why and who and what the fuck is your energy, okay? But you know what? The light bulb is on now. You woke the fuck up. You smell the fucking coffee now, okay? And you're making better decisions, better choices, you're manifesting more positive shit in your life than some manipulative motherfucker who keep playing mind fuckery with you. You're not bringing that shit into 2020, okay? Wow, that was some shit that just dropped out the game. Here's another card that flipped over, because guess what, Divine Fam? You already know the fucking tea about this motherfucker, okay? Oh, he slipped out of Divine Masculine mode, and he back into motherfucker mode, okay? So you already know the tea, okay? You already know what the fuck is going on. And you have made a decision that you ain't bringing this shit into fucking 2020, okay? So let's see some shit that this motherfucker, I'm sorry, <laughs> the divine masculine could be hiding, okay? Let's see what he could be hiding, y'all. Look at this shit. Wow, the divine masculine hiding that he at the strip club. Fulfilling his fantasies, you know, looking at the hoes. This is what he doing for the holiday. This is the festive mood that he's in. Still up to his fucking trash. Oh my God, the next goddamn card is what? Trash, okay? 
So, maybe it's time for you guys to buy film to put out the fucking trash, because that's how he acting. Or maybe some he's putting out the trash. Maybe he's tired of dealing with strippers and hoes that's trash, okay? There also could be somebody threw somebody's shit in the trash, and it could have been a fire, okay? That's the same energy I put on Queen of Wines. Somebody dealing with some fucking trash. They know it, and they're trying to get rid of it. Yup, what's the next card out? Toxic. These motherfuckers is toxic, okay? They dealing with toxic energy. Low level, low vibrational toxic energy. Don't let this shit fuck with you, Divine Film, okay? Dealing with hoes and trash, okay? Wow, you better check yourself, okay? So they just out there fulfilling their fantasies, having sex, doing they, dealing with their addictions, drinking, all right? Having multiple people in their life, multiple sexual people. So just make sure that if you uh, decide to sleep with your divine masculine, that you wear protection, all right? I still feel the energy that these divine masculine have caught a sexually transmitted disease. And just like I said, these motherfuckers are still under this black magic, spiritual attacks. You're feeling this energy. You feel it itchy, bitchy, and crabby. You feel like you know somebody fucking with your energy. You feel up. You feel down. Okay? These insecure karmic bitches have put this shit back on you guys again. They put it back out there. All because these divine masculines trying to leave. And the thing about it is, they're not even trying to leave to work out shit with the divine fam. They just still out here being a hoe. That's what it is. They just still out here being a hoe. They're not trying to commit to nobody. Okay? So they just still out here being a hoe, even to the karmic. So that's why the karmic think they fucking around with y'all. Okay? So that's why they back out here putting um attacks back on everything. You divine them and the divine masculine to keep them stuck in a toxic energy. Okay? They do not want them to be a divine masculine. So that's why they keep putting um, toxic energy and toxic spiritual attacks and stuff on them. Okay? These snakes get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay? Because they're dealing with snakes. they stuck in this toxic energy. Alright? They're not giving a fuck about nobody. they back in self indulgence mode. Okay? And this is what the, the karmics want to make sure that they stay away from you and they're trying to hope that you walk away because they stay in toxic energy. Okay? And the divine masculines is so weak that they let somebody play on them for some pussy. Okay? They weak minded. They don't know no better because they stupid. I mean, I ain't going to say stupid, but I'm just going to say weak minded and deal with their addictions. Okay? But this is the energy that they hate nothing about you, but they too insecure to tell you. Okay? They just stuck. They could have connected with you and then got under a spiritual attack and walked away. Okay? And this is the energy that they know they fucked up. Whoever this karmic bitch is, they know they fucked up. They know they fucked up with the fact that you have loved them to the end, to the fullest, with all of your heart. Honestly, purely, authentically. And they fucked that up. You don't even look at this person in the same way anymore. You look at this person possibly as fucking trash. Okay? All the dirt that they done done. All the dirt that you done heard about. Okay? You guys have got personal readings on this motherfucker to see that he has been fucking dirt. Trash. Okay? You guys know. They just been full of lies, toxic energy. Okay? You know they have been what? Total fucking drama. That's all they brought to your life. It's total drama. You feel like you're living in a goddamn soap opera. Okay? Now they got a crush on you. Now they do because they see that you're not just total fucking drama that they've been dealing with. They see that you're not just total drama that's been brought to their life, that they created this shit on their own. Okay? They created this shit on their own. And now they want somebody to have almost like sympathy. This is a card. I don't do reversals. But this card is in reverse. Alright? So somebody is envying you. Okay? That's a message when, my, when I don't do reversals and my card is in reverse. This is a message. That there's a lot of envy going on in this relationship, within this person, within the people that they're dealing with. 
within their karmic situations. It's a lot of envy and bullshit going on. You don't need this shit. You don't need all this negative energy around you, Divine Femme. This is some negative, fucked up, toxic, black magic, um, whole strip club stuff going on. Alcoholic shit going on. Okay? This is just, what? Again, this card. You already know the T. That this motherfucker, this Divine Masculines, they could still be fucking toxic. Just out here doing what the fuck they want and being big time drinkers. Just drinking a life away, okay? Wow, y'all know I like to go in, okay? So the next energy I want to pull out is love and tragedy, okay? You guys, you know, this is a fucking tragedy. A lot of you guys feel like this twin flame journey has been nothing but a tragedy in your life. Nothing. Nothing has went right with this. You know, every time you hear about somebody coming back, then they easily get tempted back into another cycle of bullshit, okay? So a lot of you guys are really missing your past love. You're dealing with a past love. Okay? This is past life. You know it's your twin flame. Alright? But however, this divine masculine is guarded. He's not willing to change yet. He's still wearing this suit of armor. He have all these emotions and feelings for you, but he's guarded in telling you that. I feel like this is the energy that he know he can't fulfill or he's not ready to fulfill. He know that you want to build. And that's why he guarded, because, like I said, he can't fulfill that for you right now. All right? He know that you're ready to build and walk through a new door, ready to start the spiritual journey. And it looked like Divine Femme, as you see, you're alone, and you might have to do this alone. Okay? Because what? He's still in the background dealing with an angry bitch. Okay? This is the angry bitch that's doing the black magic on you. And your divine masculine. Okay? This is the angry bitch that's jealous and envy of anything that you guys got going on with this relationship. Okay? This is the jealous bitch. But the divine just said the black magic is wearing down. Oh, it's going to wear down. Alright? Just remember, send it back to the center. Continue to sage yourself and cleanse yourself. Okay, but it's going back to the center and nothing positive is going to come to this person that continues to kick out black magic to hold somebody back. Okay, the divine mass, the divine is saying that maybe you guys should just be friends right now. It's nothing good going on with this past love that you need to try to invest your time in right now. This person is full of baggage, secrets, lies, deception, betrayal. This is not your energy divine film when you're trying to heal. You might have to be friends with this past love. All right. You might have to leave this motherfucker in the shadow. Okay. Clarify this just friends. Even though you guys feel this magnetic pull, you might have to be friends with this person. They're not healed. This is unwilling energy I'm feeling. They still want to be toxic. So you're building, Divine Femme. What is this building? All right. So you're healing yourself. And this is also the energy that you could be healing and building on a new romance. Okay? Build on something new. You guys have utilized your free will. You guys have asked for the Divine to bring in soulmates for you guys. You want to build on something that's real. You want something that's authentic. You don't want a bunch of lies, a bunch of runners, a bunch of deceptive motherfuckers who hooked up on karmics and all this kind of stuff. And you abandoned, neglected all the time, broken promises, like you're not fucking human, like you don't have feelings. You don't want this deceptive bullshit and you're building on something new, something beautiful, a new romance. A lot of you all could have met someone new. You could have caught in your soulmate energy. Okay? Wow. You guys are calling in something new. Because it is some people out there who know what they want. You guys have possibly met someone new. And you're looking for a commitment. Okay? But also, this is the energy that there are some divine masculines who do want to build with you, divine fam. They do want this romance and this commitment. It's just so many fucking blockages here. And they do feel this magnetic pull, this telepathic energy. Okay? But it's so many blockages here. You know? They're even willing to start off as just friends because they're so very fucking guarded. 
They're still dealing with some negative karmic baggage. Okay? They know that you see them as the beast. They know that you see them as this negative type of person. This is the energy divine masculine that you have reflected out on the divine feminine. A beast. Deceptive. A liar. Self-indulgence. All about you. Just taking and, and receiving. Not giving. Okay? And you want to lure the divine film back in. And we're tired of being lured. Okay? Because... It's all about you playing on the weaknesses of the divine femme. It's all about you playing on the love and the trust and her morals of being authentic in a relationship. When you don't even know that. You don't even know how to express yourself. You don't know how to be true. You don't know how to be committed. You don't know how to be honest. You have got to heal. It's not always about luring someone in. It's about being truthful. It's about being honest. It's about relaying clarity. What your intentions are. Are they pure? It's not about the lure all the time. And some divine masculines think and know that they play on that. Okay? So can you please clarify this angry? Well, here's... Yeah. This is the angry person. This angry bitch is a tortured soul. Okay? This angry bitch is probably someone that the divine masculine played, manipulated, and lied to as well. Okay? This is another person that he probably tortured their soul as well, okay? But this is also a bitch who tortured the divine masculine soul, okay? This is a karmic who played on him, manipulated him, okay? And now she's probably angry that he's leaving, all right? This is your divine masculine's tortured soul could be in hibernation, in hermit mode, all right? It could be an angry bitch after him, okay? Because... Somebody could be watching him if he make the first move towards you. All right? Your divine masculine could be brainstorming or trying to decide a way to connect with you. To make the first move with you. Okay? So the next thing I want to clarify is I want to clarify on this commitment. And I want to clarify on this anger. Okay? And I do want to clarify on this lure. Okay? So, the word I hear on this commitment is competition. That maybe it's a lot of people that want a commitment from the divine masculine. And he has maybe put himself out there like he's going to commit or offer people something. Okay? And they all waiting on it, you know? So, let me clarify this was what's brewing. This commitment, Holy Spirit. What's this commitment, Holy Spirit? Um, so, it's like... He could possibly know that you're waiting on a commitment, Divine Femme. And he could know that you're chilling and waiting on this commitment. Wow. And so is the goddamn Kermit. So she's trying to be like you. She's trying to copycat your energy. She's jealous. So now she could be trying to chill. Trying to calm down. Trying to act mature. Trying to get some respect. Trying to get some grace. Trying to get some class. Trying to be like you. So she can get this commitment as well. It's two people waiting on this commitment. And somebody just sitting back. Watching and waiting. Somebody could possibly want to take you on a date. Your divine masculine. Okay. But somebody's like watching. Everything that's going on. They're spying. Okay, this is karmic energy that's just trying to see, watching uh, YouTube videos, just trying to see when this connection is going to happen, when they're going to say, oh, it's, the, it's a union now. Somebody's waiting and watching, and they're watching this through YouTube to, to see when this connection, when this divine time is going to happen. Right. Look at this. Somebody is wanting to fight for this love. They want to fight for your love, your divine masculine do. But also, this karmic want to fight for this shit too. That's why she's waiting and sitting back. She wants to fight for this commitment because she possibly feel like she's owed this as well. Okay? So please, oh wow, let's keep getting more and more energies. But however, <laughs> your divine masculine could be running away from this bitch. He don't want this shit with her. Okay? And maybe that's why she's getting angry. Okay, because maybe this is a hoe, a stripper, who just outdoing her. 
Maybe there's somebody who free for all. Okay. Wow. Maybe this person is just trash. And that's how your divine masculine see this person as fucking trash. He could be involved with a stripper. That's fucking trash. Okay. I was trying to clarify this angry bitch over here, but I kept getting all these other messages. This angry bitch is that it, they could be fighting. It could be a fight here. That's why she angry. There could have been a fight. All right. Because maybe she know that the divine masculine is coming in after you. Now he's still shielded and guarded. But this person knows that the divine masculine wants you. They love you. And they feel like you're taking away, you know, this person from them who possibly take care of them. Who spoil them, who buy everything for them. He do everything for them. Okay. Yes, you're taking them away, Divine Femme, because they could possibly um get a divorce. They could possibly be breaking a commitment with someone. All right? So that's why it could have been a fight over this situation, because maybe somebody told them that they don't want this anymore, and they want to be with their Divine Feminine. And now somebody's angry here. Here's three cards that came out. Also, maybe somebody angry because they found out they have a sexually transmitted disease. Somebody did not use protection here. Wow. The next card to follow that shit up is check yourself. Somebody could have caught a sexually transmitted disease from a karmic. Wow. This could be an incurable fucking disease and it has destroyed their fucking life. Okay. It could have been an auto accident or a DUI. Whatever this um, sexually transmitted disease is, it has destroyed somebody's life and it fucked their life up. Okay, and now they're fucking depressed. This is high energy that somebody have caught an incurable, incurable sexually transmitted disease. Somebody was dealing with fucking trash, probably from a strip club. Okay, trash, fulfilling their fantasies with hoes and not using protection. Now they have caught possibly a sexually transmitted disease, all right? Dealing with some money-hungry, spoiled bitch as well, okay? Or somebody, your divine masculine, is just fucking money-hungry, broke, all right? I hear the word codependent, all right? So let me go on, all right? I'm uh, um, not going to make this too long, all right? And I'm trying to end out with some uh, traditional tarot energy, but I will be making that dark energy video for our Divine Masculine because I feel like there is dark energy within the Divine Masculine, okay? So I just want to get some overall energies for this Twin Flame right here using traditional tarot, All right? And remember, these signs I call out don't have to be what's going on, okay? So this is the Page of Pentacles, all right? This could be an offer. Somebody could get a new job. All right. This could be also that somebody had to pay out to a young person, child support. Okay. This could be an offer, you know, as far as a relationship, a new start. Okay. Somebody don't have much to start with, but they want to try. Okay. And also, like I said, this is hermit energy. Somebody is in hermit mode. All right. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. But somebody is in hermit mode, and this is also uh, Virgo energy, the hermit. Okay? Because somebody could be having a lot of choices and options that they're trying to deal with. Okay? This is Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy, water energy. Somebody got a lot of options that they're trying to, you know, make, choose, a lot of choices. All right? This could be in regards to who they possibly want to make an offer to. All right? That's kind of fucked up, you know, but also I want you guys to view the snake at the bottom. OK, so somebody is a snake, too. OK, so be aware that if you're dealing with a cancer price, it scores for your energy or it could be any energy. But somebody got some snake in their ass. OK, they got a lot of options to choose from. Somebody out there still bullshitting around. OK, here's a card that stayed on the table. Also, this is the king of wands. Leo Aries says energy. All right, so somebody want to come in and make an offer. This is like a strong, motivated person who know what they want. 
they could possibly want commitment. They're real sexually, you know, really, you know, real sexual energy. You know, they're good at what they do sexually. Okay. But this is somebody who's want to be committed. They know what they want. But just make sure that they don't have some of that player energy in it. This could be someone who know that they're good. They know they got the lingo to talk good, act good. Somebody who's, you know, like really structured about what it is that they want. And it's almost like they want you to ride on their coattails or be on the same page. Just that Leo energy, uh, you know, to me, where they just really strong minded. Mm hmm. All right. And this is in and out energy like that. You know, this is almost like my uh, King of Cups, Knight of Cups, far as um, player energy, the sexual energy. Somebody want to come in and out. Wow. All right. So this is the hangman and this is Pisces energy here. OK, it's where, like I said, somebody want to come in and out and possibly sleep with you. It could be possibly a Pisces. OK who also can't make choices about who it is that he want to commit to or be with, okay? He can have a lot of options seeing multiple people, okay? It's hangman energy. Somebody can't make a choice about if they want to give up their ways, okay? Wow, okay? So somebody could have a home situation, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be happy here. Somebody could be, you know, feeling like they're happy in a home situation with the Ten of Pentacles, all right. Or either somebody just found out that they got uh, inheritance or something. OK. But however, there's some broken heart energy here. Somebody got a broken heart. OK. This is to me. I feel like this is divine film energy. This is Christmas. OK. You're not with your divine masculine. You feel like he in another family situation. You're kind of broken hearted about this divine film. OK. This is three of source energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it could be any sign, okay? And somebody kind of broke a heart about not having this new start, okay? This is the Ace of Wands. Somebody thought they was going to have a new start in love. Somebody almost thought they was going to have this proposal or this commitment. This is Leo, Aries, Sag energy, but there's a broken heart. So somebody got a broken heart for Christmas. And it could be from a Pisces. Okay, so I just want to give you guys like that's some of our energy that's going on with the twin flame uh, energy. The bottom card here is the Knight of Swords. Okay, it could have been an argument here. Somebody could have just took the fuck off, left the situation, didn't communicate. They could be doing some soul searching and probably want to come back and communicate. Okay, but somebody's trying to get up the courage to leave a situation. They know they got to leave somebody behind. Somebody want to possibly come back and communicate this to you. But I feel like some of the black magic is what ran this person away again. Okay. They know they have to leave a situation in order to have a solid foundation. So I just want to pour some healing energies for you guys at the end of this. So I can get some healing energies for this twin flame journey. Because a lot of this is not as going as expected. And I feel like it still needs to be some healing here. So Holy Spirit, can you please give me some healing energies? Can you please give me some healing energies, Holy Spirit, for this twin flame journey at this time? Can you please give me some healing energies? All right, so some healing energies is um, somebody or you guys both need to stop playing victim. Somebody's playing victim. But unfortunately, I just feel like this is total divine masculine energy. Playing a victim, not accepting their behaviors, their wrongs, continuously putting themselves in cycles and always don't uh, um, understand why it's a tower moment because you're playing a victim. You continuously self sabotage yourself. OK, you continuously do that. OK, you need to unleash your creative side. OK, this is expressing yourself about this new beginning. Release those emotions and stop being a victim. Release, you know, how you feel. Express that you want this new beginning. Make, start making the right choices so you can stop dealing with this victim conscience mentality. You know, you're making these choices, not nobody else. This is definitely divine feminine energy, alchemy. You're all into who you are. 
you're developing, you're growing, you're being wise, you're using that wisdom, you're learning those lessons, okay? This whole situation has taught you such a valuable lesson about love, about life, about your spiritual quest, your journey, your purpose. You have learned so much. All right. And some of you guys have got an awakening and you understand the purpose. And some of us are still stuck in just thinking that this is love. It's more to it than just love. You have to grow. And sometimes the fam, divine film, if you have to grow alone, then that's what you have to do. If you have to build alone, then that's what you have to do. Okay. This is what I have for you guys. If you'd like to order a personal reading, please email me at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. Thank you for all of your love and support and all of your strength, your comments, all of your blessings, your donations, and all of your readings through all of this black magic that we are all going through. Okay? So have strength. All right? I'll talk to you in the next video I'm about to make. And it's strictly going into the secrets and the darkness of the Divine Masculine.